another problem, though, with separating phenomenology from realism. Uh, in a previous video, I just talked about separating phenomenology from idealism. And I, and I talked about how the stance, you know, the dictum to be things themselves by Searles is somewhat of a problematic statement. Because we are suspending belief as to whether there is, you know, a real mind independent being beyond this, or whether this phenomena is mind dependent. We suspend belief on that. Uh, and the, the problem with that is that based on what you say, you can bring closer phenomenology and idealism, or, 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 or bring closer phenomenology and realism. Because Cyril kind of, you know, brought idealism a little closer to, uh, to phenomenology, which, and if you do, if you do either of those things, if you, if you bring closer either of those two, of idealism or realism to phenomenology, you grow closer and closer to making phenomenology obsolete in, in all of its methods and all of its, uh, concepts and everything obsolete. All of it. Um. Because a method is to suspend all, all of those beliefs. It's, it's, it's to suspend belief in mind-dependent or mind-independence. It's just saying that the phenomena is what is real for us, and that's what we are, and, and that is what we are going to study. To, to the things themselves for Husserl. <coughs> the problem, another also with phenomenology is that. Depending on what you say, you know you can also bring closer to to, to phenomenology realism. Uh, realism is or uh, objectivism, or um, yeah, that means that there's something real and mind independent beyond what I'm seeing. Now there's varying theories uh, as to whether what I'm seeing is real, mind in independently real, as to whether what I'm seeing right now is dependent from myself, is what this remote is dependent from, from myself, and what I'm seeing is a mind-independent entity, or this phenomenon happens to be, um, you know, partly mind-dependent, but this, the, but there is a mind, deep, there, there is, even though what I'm seeing is probably mind-dependent, uh, but that there is something mind-independent beyond this, a noumena, so, so to speak. Uh, but anyway, um, when we study phenomenology, like this book is very good. It's a very awesome book by Herbert Spiegelberg. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome for phenomenologists. I think it's a very book, very hard, hard book, 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 book to come by. It's also not cheap, but I, I bought it um, because it's a really, it's a really awesome book. It's really awesome to read too. If you, if you like phenomenological method. It's called doing doing phenomenology. <coughs> but when we study phenomena to the things themselves, when we are going to use phenomenological method to study all of our phenomena, you know, with um, in in no matter what uh, kind of phenomenology, you know, he he talks about the various kinds in here: uh, descriptive, eidetic, constitutive. Hermeneutic, you know, all, all those things. Um, in, well, in, 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 any, in any in any kind of phenomenology you do, you're going to be studying the phenomena, of course. And you're, and you're going to say, though, the only the only uh, belief that you're going to say about these phenomena as to their existence and such is that this is real for the subject. This is real for us because we see them. This is the given. It presents itself. So, this is what is real for us and no more is, is, to, be said, is to be said about it. But, but, but we have to examine the, the, the structures or we have to uh, do various things about these phenomena and that's it. But that comes close to saying that what we see is real, because if you read Heidegger, being in the world, that, that unity of being, being in the world, essentially is saying it's one unity of being. It's not, I'm here, that's there, 
I am here, the world is there. It's one unity of being together. And that could be phrased to mean that's real. It's real. The phenomena are real. Uh, you know, real for everyone, especially if you even talk about the problem of evil, or the, the problem of, uh, other, of other minds, not the, not the problem of evil. <coughs> but you could come close to bringing phenomenology and realism closer, uh, but there is a certain kind of unwieldy characteristic about the phenomena of phenomenology because um, it's an unwieldy kind of concept of how you of how you characterize the subject relation to to to, to the phenomena. Now, I would like to, to characterize it as how Heidegger does it, as being in the world and all of the relations of being with or being with, being as care um, and all these things. That is some kind of concern over all these things, you know, um, concern about them and with relation to. Uh, Temporality, you know, facticity and, tr and tr tr transcendence. Um, so if you read Heidegger, you know, I mean, I even if you read Husserl, you know, it's kind of clear what if the whole dictum of, of, of phenomenology is clear. But this awesome writing, in, in my opinion, is this is this is what what you might call hermeneutic phenomenology. But um, what is stated in here? Uh, as unity is of being, uh, not me here, that's there, m m I'm here, the world is there, but it makes a unity of being. And Husserl gets at the meaning of being as its relations of being with the phenomenon. <coughs> um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that through through these relations of being of relations of being with the you know in, in relation to the phenomena these these relations of being with the phenomena you could uh, have on your hands a uh, a case of a sort a sort of realism because the 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 because phenomenology says to to the things themselves which could mean that the phenomena is what's real for the for the phenomena the whole dictum says that this is that the phenomena, the th things themselves, are what's real for the subject, for design. And essentially, oh, I lost, I lost my train of thought. It's just dis distracting. Construction and yelling. Um, essentially, I guess what I'm what I'm trying to say is that this relation can, you know, even you know this this relation that Heidegger presents in his hermeneutic in his, in his hermeneutic phenomenology is that he's saying that, um, you know, he gives these relations of you know, the unity of of being, and he gets at the this the question of the of the meaning of being with the with these with these relations. And using certain phrasing could bring phenomenology and realism to keep together by this kind of relations of being, by this ontology uh, of, of Heidegger. But if you use a certain phrasing also, you could also bring them apart. And I think what's best to do is to keep idealism and realism far away from phenomenology, because if you bring them together, with each other that makes phenomenology obsolete. It makes everything that phenomenology was created for just worth nothing. So the way to the way to do that I think would be to stress this uh, this Australian dictum to the things themselves. Um, saying <clears throat> we are studying the phenomena. <clears throat> But, and then if we're going to do, like Husserl did, uh, eidetic, eidetic phenomenology, but if we're going to do hermeneutic, hermeneutic phenomenology, we're going to do ontology, or phenomenological ontology, uh, what would have to be said is that we are 
studying the being of us. The being of us, because the meaning, the meaning of being of, of of us, is our being in relation to all the phenomena. And in that, there's no still no judgment of realism or or idealism um, stated on as to whether this is mind dependent or independent. So that I think is the way to uh, make such a thing work with you know, certain, certain phrasing. Because if you're if, if in this, you know, the uh, relation between realism and, and, and phenomenology gets a little stronger with hermeneutic, hermeneutic phenomenology than it does between constitutive or descriptive or eidetic phenomenology. And this, I think, is probably one of the better one of, one of the better ones. So, yeah, let me let me uh, let me know your thoughts on whether on um, how we can bring idealism and realism as far as far away from, apart from uh, phenomenology or do you think phenomenology is a joke <laughs>